Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting on my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories. Of course, the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the essentials. Of course, friends, there's also the sweet built-in chat. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Today, though, friends, we're going to start on the Designer Showcase, and we're going to go to the Designer Directory HL Mod Tech link. Of course, when you first click, the designs are sorted by likes. If you click on any of my designs, you can find a tutorial for it. Of course, the reactions are always appreciated. Today, though, we're going to sort by recent, and we are looking for one called called Keep the Chain Moving. Now, this is one that has been copied and tinkered. I am making the tutorial right now so you can see how it's supposed to be used. Of course, before you copy, make sure you give it a reaction. Bingo, let's hit copy and tinker. So friends, this is a super fun chain. You can see all of the users that are included so far. They rotate different each time. Friends, if we move down here, I'll show you mine. I'm going to do F to fit view, and you can see it is a simple chain link. I made it lion's colors, and of course, I put the words on it. Now, friends, if you want to participate, you can ungroup anybody's to learn how it was done. I'm going to show you how mine would work. So first, there was the control D. I'm going to shift nudge, and then I'm going to shift rotate. I'm going to look at it from this corner so that you can see which one I'm doing. If I hit F, it rotates over there, and now when I shift rotate, it's two clicks or 90 degrees. That's how easy it is to move it. Now let me explain the design. I have made this with the bent pipe. I do that because it's an easier shape to work with. If you click right here and type bent, you can find it. So friends, once you've got it built, you can ungroup it and check it out. Now you can see here, I made an inverse hole. That's what allowed me to do a blue piece, a gray piece, a blue piece. And then also, I'm going to hide these. You can see that all I did was have the words right here. So that after it all grouped, I could click on the multicolor and bingo, put it back to life. So right now, I'm going to undo to get it back. Let's do show all to get it in. All right, friends, let's hide this and group it. Watch closely. I got something to show you. When we group this with control G, there is an error because it goes over the edge of the world. So watch how I'm going to fix this. Once again, I'm going to do show all. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. So I'm doing shift rotate again. And let's move it over here and over here. And now when I ungroup it and I regroup all those pieces. Notice I do want to make sure I miss this one. Now when I group it all, bingo it'll cut just the way it's supposed to now remember this is for a different user this is my the roar 84 account so real quickly let's go in here and make this look like it should i'm going to ungroup this i'm going to hide the hole i'm going to hide the center sandwich so now i can click and put the roar 84 just for fun i'm going to pick a different font Let's see if major snafu fits that'll be fine and then down here I want the roar 84 as well once again major snafu give it time to settle in if I do show all I'm gonna change the colors I'm gonna hide this and I'm just gonna invert it Notice they are all selected, so I need to double click. Now I'm inside, and let's make these the gray. I want the same gray, so I'm going to copy this code with Control C. I'm going to click over here, switch to the color, double click, Control V, and press Enter. Once again, that blue in the middle, let's make it something that's going to still highlight that other blue. I think that'll be perfect when I click out here those become permanent but i do need to turn on multicolor finally do show all and then i think after all this practice i know that i can just go up and down 
that one did not get selected let's hit group and bingo the chain continues now the next person that does it can start sending the chain back this way once again friends thanks to everybody that's already done this and i know that I absolutely love the butterflies by Kawhi becca and the cool one by eva as well let's take a quick look at the list of course we've got eva and becca moon days tech misu london nick there's miss candy spring trap and then dragon girl and phoenix from this side we've got happy cat 101 infinite skates bruticus creations md there's the logo for spring trap and that gets us to the end of the line friends what makes this project awesome is if we keep the chain going to do that click back to your desktop click on the properties of that project make sure the name says something like keep the chain going and then we want to add these words right here by returning to the original project do show more and simply copy the shout out part and the tutorial words right click copy and then right click paste to put them inside I did the letters control V add your tags don't forget if you do HLMT 23 I search that every day and I'll check it out make sure you set it to public and leave it on attribution share a like just like that the whole world will be able to see it and boom we can keep the chain going finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day